I woke up this morning and I was inspired. I was inspired to be creative. So I took my macro lens. This is a Nikon 55mm macro, 1970s era, manual focus only macro lens. Probably the sharpest lens I have ever used and it's 40, 50 years old. Anyway, slapped it on my Sony and I do that with this coupler here. Uh, there's a video where I describe all my photo stuff. And I just walked around in this field, which we have plenty of room, and looked for small details, little macro shots. And uh, this is what I came up with. And the nice thing about macro is you can focus in on a very, very small subject and get so close to your subject. And when you open up the aperture to like f2.8, which is the maximum on this guy, you really narrow your depth of field. So your focus does not go into your frame at all. It just stays at one little horizontal plane across the photograph and it's tack tack sharp. The better your, your macro lens, the closer you'll be able to focus and the more pleasing, the more smooth the blur is going to be behind whatever it is you're focusing on. So I might do this more and more now. It's fun. We're having a bit of a date night tonight. Well, kind of. It is a date night. It's a date night. Mm -hmm. See, she's wearing earrings and everything. Mm -hmm. She doesn't often wear earrings because we don't just, we don't have the occasion to. But she is tonight. Yep. West Yellowstone, right? Yep, we're gonna walk around a bit in town and then we're gonna go to the Madison Crossing Lounge. Ooh. Because it looks like they are one of the few places in town that have local beers and stuff like that. On Craft top. brews? Yeah. I'm there. And good food. And good food. We'll be there. Looks like it's, looks like it's kind of stormy behind me. Yeah, we'll have to see what it's mm. like when we get up there. Might be interesting. Have my coat with me, just in case. There's the place. It opens in an hour and 15 minutes, so we have some time to kill. Let's go walk around. Hey, look at that, a Corvette. Yeah, it does smell like peppermint. Mint does not belong in desserts. Especially peppermint. She's ignoring me. I know how you feel about mint. Oh crap, she found the yarn and quilt shop. She's gonna look in the window. She said she's just gonna look in the window. Let's see if that's true. Oh, look at that. Oh. Let's go chase her. Uh oh, crazy bear gifts. Show everyone what you got. Got our Yellowstone souvenir. It says, go unplug Yellowstone National Park. And it's magnet. And it's a magnet. Which 
would seem good in an Airstream, except that we don't really have that many places to put it. So worst comes to worst, we just put a little bit of Velcro on the back and it sticks to the wall. Our whole Airstream is metal. We could put it on the outside. We could put it, yeah, I don't think it'll last very long on the outside. We came to Yellowstone and we bought souvenirs for the high, high price of five bucks. That's all we've spent, five bucks, until we go to dinner. Then we'll be more. So as you, as, were you as surprised as I was that there was so much Christmas stuff yeah. in late August? It's a lot of play people want Christmas things. Oh well, it's cute. It is. The restaurant opens in five minutes, so we're chilling, and then we're gonna eat. In dog beers, I've only had one.